Hello and welcome to our first broadcast here at Net7 News. Today is the 25th of April 2016 and today's news item is on the topic of the increase in seismic activity, particularly along the Ring of Fire which has caused a mass surge in earthquake and volcanic activity and consequently has been the spark of a 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Ecuador which has claimed over 650 lives and has caused mass damage across the city to homes and buildings. Two other large earthquakes also occurred in Japan a few days before the one in Ecuador measuring at 6.8 and 7 on the Richter scale causing severe damage and also prompted tsunami warnings which were then soon lifted and also caused a mistake. In accordance to an earthquake app, people on social media are speculating that there has been over 2,500 earthquakes this month alone, worldwide, spanning from the magnitude of 2 to 8. Now, this has had people growing in concern lately as to what has been causing all of these earthquakes and the rapid increase of seismic activity this month. Looking at the vast majority of earthquakes which have occurred this month, they have all been relatively on or near the Ring of Fire, where 37 volcanoes have also erupted, including Popocatapetl in Mexico, 40 miles away from New Mexico. Also, these earthquakes have been predominant near Japan, Indonesia, Tonga, the South Sandwich Islands and Argentina and Ecuador and very few have actually taken place in the west section of the North American plate. Now this has had scientists growing in concern because of the lack of seismic activity in this area. Scientists, including a former USGS geologist, Jim Berglund, who predicted the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake in California that measured 6.9 on the Richter scale, has stated that because of the new moon and full moon cycle, the Californian area is at risk due to the moon having an effect on gravitational forces on the Earth, and because there has been an increase in seismic activity, the California area is at a high risk since there has not been a large earthquake here for a significant amount of time. Some even say that California has been overdue a large earthquake and some scientists also claim to expect four earthquakes with magnitudes of 8 plus that are likely to strike within the next few days and weeks if seismic activity keeps increasing at the rate that it has this month. Now, we don't know where or if these earthquakes will strike, but scientists are speculating that it will be somewhere across the ring of fire where there's been a surge of seismic activity. Also, solar flare activity may be to blame because of these earthquakes and volcanoes that have been erupting this past month because of the increase of this solar flare activity. And people can only speculate now the causes of these earthquakes, but it's a sure thing that seismic activity has not been as high as it is now for a very long time. So will there be a mega quake along the west coast soon, or will it be somewhere else? Will there be a mega quake, or will the seismic activity soon decrease? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and please remember to subscribe for daily news items. If there is a story that you might like us to report on, comment below and we may consider it. But for now, thank you for listening to our first ever broadcast here at Net7. So, goodbye for now. Thank you.